Well, first of all, we would uh, like to pause for a moment and uh, reflect on uh, what the people of Marshall County are going through. Um, very close to my heart. Uh, I walk those same halls, sit in that same commons area, and um, as a parent, it's your worst nightmare come true. So we just want everyone to know that our thoughts and prayers are with the parents, students, administrators, faculty and staff, um, everyone involved in that community. But I know Marshall County pretty well and they're a strong community uh, and everybody's pulling behind them and uh, God will will bring something positive from this. I truly believe that. So, Coach, I know you usually don't ask, ask questions, but I will in this case. Did you feel like uh, the rest of us that on the high school level and, and our level here that basketball can kind of help the people through this situation a little bit? Oh, for sure. And I mean, I used uh, my thoughts um, as I sat there uh, and paralyzed in my chair for four hours watching the news and um, social media and those things coming through. I have some really good friends that are administrators uh, in Marshall County, and I have a lot of people that I went to school with that have parents there, par or students. Um, they're parents of the students that go there. So um, I use that in my pregame because when the thought that came to me was in life and in basketball, you've got to be ready. you got to be ready. You have to have your heart right, and you have to be ready. And uh, we used that before the game, talking about being ready when we took the floor. I'm not necessarily sure that, that it worked because we didn't play as well as I would like for us to in the first half. But, um, but yes, um, basketball can help uh, bridge uh, the, the, the gap that people are feeling. Uh, I know that the local schools have really come together and supported by wearing orange and blue and those type of things, which really touching. Um, but uh, in, the, in this time, you know, you have to pull from every possible thing you can. And I do believe basketball and the, the sense of team uh, can help people through this time. Coach, talk about the resiliency of your team in that fourth quarter going in down 10 and being able to overcome that and then eventually take the lead. Well, I just was really proud of our effort. I mean, I would love to be able to play like that for 40 minutes, but we just don't have the depth. So uh, I felt like that in the last 10 minutes, we knew we had to do, give everything we got in our zone press, really bothered them. The kids turned the ball over. We did a great job of turning their turnovers into points. Um, really, really proud of their effort. Um, you know, late in the game, uh, that's on me. I mean, you know, I, I let their best player run the clock down and, and go in and shoot the last shot. So as a coach, I take that, I take that on me. Uh, we would have liked to have more help but I probably should have sent a double to get the ball out of her hands or, or something like that. So um, that, that last possession uh, is, like I said, totally my fault uh, for not helping my kids more than that. But uh, the fact that they competed and showed themselves to be the team that I know they can be. I mean, we're a better basketball team than we were at the beginning of the season. Uh, a game like today would have gone a long way to helping us reach our goal of, of getting to Evansville. But I think we can pull from today and take that effort into our last nine games. KJ was talking to us about kind of the frustration of not putting together that complete 40-minute game. And she was saying, you know, if you guys could do that, I mean, this team would be a force to be reckoned with. Oh, I totally agree. And I told them, I said, if we could somehow find a way to get ourselves to Evansville, I'm not sure anybody wants to draw us uh, because we are better. And it's, and it's being recognized not only uh, by myself and our staff, but the staff of the other teams uh, in the conference. I mean, Coach Todd told me uh, – uh, before the game, he said, "You guys, you've got them, you know, playing well. They're playing well. They're playing hard, um, and those are compliments that you love to get as a coach." So, but the problem is, we got to get ourselves to the tournament, and we have nine games, and we have to control our own destiny, and we've got to start stringing together wins, and that's something that we haven't been able to do thus far. What was the message in the huddle going into the fourth quarter that just started the comeback? Um, fight. That was the biggest thing. Uh, Coach was just telling us like, you got to fight. You got to cut it. She cuts every game into into like different segments. And we play, since we play in 10 minutes, she, gets, she cuts into five-minute games. And she's like, you got to win this five minutes, and then you're going to win the next five minutes. So just chip away every five minutes and get back in this game. After a tough first quarter, it felt like y'all's offense really did get rolling there in the second, the third, and fourth defensively. Where do you think the breakdowns were tonight against Moorhead? Um, we played a lot of zone against them, and the back of the zone was a lot of the breakdowns. And if anytime somebody catches the ball in the middle of your zone, that's already a breakdown because the ball get in the middle, then they can see everything and they can pick you apart from that point. Uh, we just need to start bumping people, like just checking them, letting them know like you can't stay here for long if you do cut in the middle or and just head on a swivel really. Like it was a lot of times where we were just staring at the ball instead of looking around, seeing where the next danger was. So it was just really just like small things and small things cost you the game. So. 
is it frustrating kind of see you know, trying to play a complete game is what you're, you're trying to get to and seeing how you played so great for three fourths of this game if you put a complete game together how good can this team be oh my god we can be really good um if we actually honestly we play better away when we're on the road it's a completely different team if we could bring that team on the road into our home court and just just play like we play on the road like i feel like it'll be a lot of times where a lot of games that we lost we would have we would have won by 10 or more what do you think the reason behind that is, is it because you Maybe you girls get comfortable being at home, or, or what goes into that? You know, I, if I could, if I could answer that question, I would. Cause I honestly, like, I go into every game with the same mindset. I'm not sure what's going through their heads. I don't know if it's com just being comfortable or just nonchalant, or it's our home crowd. So it's just, I don't know. It's a different feeling, but I don't know. I re I really can't answer that question for you, cause I can't if it, like actually tell you what's going on through their heads. I just know, you know, what's going on through my head. So. Shannon, I know you started the game two for eleven. You finished sixteen and thirty-four. Um, how how do you get to a better start? I mean, you're taking great shots. Uh, mentally, I just got in my head. I feel like because I'm not used to missing that many shots. Like I'm used to hitting majority of my shots when I start shooting it. Like I'm not used to taking that many shots and not hitting but two of them. So it was kind of like, what's going on? Like I was really in shock. Like I've never not hit half of my shots in the first half. So that was just me mentally, just getting in my own head and just beating myself up really because I couldn't hit shots. But um, coming back from halftime, I was just like, either I'm going to have to take over this game or we're not going to be able to win it. So I just did what I was supposed to do.